deliver <laughs> and of course I have Africa Independent Television Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you Excellency. Right. Uh, the last time we had this uh, series was about a month ago and between then and now a lot has happened in the ever fluid Nigerian polity. So we'll be taking up some of these issues and uh, maybe we should start from the home front. Uh, you are in the news again, not that you ever left the uh, media space really. But of course, one issue that is uh, uh, trending seriously is the, your recent action to de-recognize, as it were, uh, one of your former predecessors in office, uh, Sir Celeste Omeha. A lot of people are reading a political vendetta into all of this. Why would you do this to somebody that a lot of people have come to identify as your friend? Thank you very much, America. Uh, and let me welcome all of you to Port Harcourt. <clears throat> it's most uh, unfortunate that whatever you do, uh, particularly now that uh, we in political uh, period, everything you do, people attach it to politics. You do right, nobody will know that, nobody will talk about whether you are right, Unfortunately, again, uh, whatever that happens to the river state that they say, look, it's because social persons, social people are with article. And that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. People say it's vindictiveness. It will be quite unfair. It will be quite unfair that for anybody to say that. If it was vindictiveness in the first place, I would have refused it. When the state assembly came to me that this is what they want to do, why would I have refused it? In 2007, May 27, it's usually the birthday of my predecessor, Rotimi Amechi. I was the council chairman then. I was the council chairman then. All of us who were supporting Amici then to be governor, we took out adverts to congratulate him on his birthday. This was 27th of May, 2007. As we still have about seven months to go. But I Obeya was sworn in May 29th, 2007 as governor. A lady was sworn in, Obeya dissolved us. Because we took adverts congratulating the, uh, my predecessor, Rotary Amici. So that alone, having it in mind, and if I want to be vindictive, there's no way. I would have recognized Omeha. That shows vindictiveness. He did this to me. I'll also do you back. But when the assembly mooted the idea, that look, if you've been a governor, there's no way, for whatever reasons, anybody can say he was even a governor. They are the lawmakers. And they said, look, that's okay. Go ahead. And they did it. And if they imagine facts now, that shows that, look, what we did was wrong. Because it would look as if we are challenging the Supreme Court. And that we have always talked about this state respecting the rule of law. But it didn't have to happen at the time it fell out with you. Oh, Fell out with me. Is it not in PDP? Well, uh, and in PDP, a lot of people said it's more towards uh, the presidential candidate of your party now. How? 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 And that it was because of that that what? the State House of Assembly took that decision. Did he not support me for the uh, primaries? So, <laughs> if you did you not support me, and then you would have said, okay, he was fighting me. So, what was that going to do? Uh, 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 am I fighting at Chuku? So a question, Your Excellency, that might emanate from that is the fact that if you 
uh, you know, agreed that uh, the House of Assembly should go ahead with it at that time. And now there's a reversal of this. And it's not as if, uh, you know, the recipient clamored for, you know, what happened. Why now uh, tell him to refund, you know, all the monies? If what was done was illegal, it was not me that said so. I'm not a member of the Assembly. I'm not a lawmaker. I'm an executive. But the point I'm saying is that if I was to show vindictiveness, I was to do it in that 2015. But it was a man who dissolved the councils simply because we took advertorial, congratulating someone for his birthday, who was his rival, who was his enemy. Mm -hmm. And then you, I will suffer it. I did not complete my tenure as the chairman of local government. Seven months. So, and so what I'm trying to say is that if I was to show vindictiveness mm. as of 2015, then when I was to show vindictiveness, why should I recognize this man who deserves, who I would allow me to complete my... Perhaps, yeah, the, perhaps, you, perhaps the political enemy there wasn't him, but uh, wrote to me a message. No, 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 no. I just came in 2015. And, and, and I must also tell you, yeah. when I was running for the governorship, the primaries, Omega did not support me. If the the facts are clear. I thought you said he supported you for the primaries. No, no, I'm talking about presidential. The president, okay. The I'm talking about governorship then. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. He was one of those who didn't want me to be. So that they know she doesn't make me not to recognize you. But help us understand this, yes. Your Excellency. How is it that facts just emerged? Mm -hmm. The court ruling, by the way, mm -hmm. was since 2007, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So how is it that the facts just emerged 15 years mm -hmm. after? And I recall that usually, before those decisions are taken, you get advice from the Attorney General. There's institutional memory yes. such that you yes. look at those judgments yes. and say, oh, the court has made a pronouncement. So yes. isn't it curious that it's just 15 years after that those facts that are actually out there, really, for everybody, just emerged. 15 years, how? Maybe it meant, what, it meant 2015. 15 years. I've not been on this for 15 years. No, no, 2015. The court's ruling yeah. that said he, he, he wasn't a candidate in yes, the election. Yes, yes. I mean, it's, it's been way, way before you came into office. It's out there. But you said that it was based on new uh, discoveries, yeah. that he now took that decision yeah, to reverse yeah. it. So yeah. isn't it curious that you just found out that? What, what is curious, that today, I'm not aware of certain events mm. that took place yesterday. Mm. Then when I left office, I became aware. And I said, how did this thing happen? I'm not, I was not aware. But I'm not aware. First of all, being aware, what can I do to remedy that? I cannot do anything because I'm no longer in the office. Okay. But I'm in the office. I've become aware. And what was done was wrong. What is wrong in remedying it? So you were not aware in 2015? No, I've just given you an illustration. Okay, but I'm saying that for pointed, you. That's what I'm saying. Right. I've just given you an illustration. Listen, I'm in office today. I've left tomorrow. I will leave tomorrow. People are bringing facts to me. Ah, this happened. I said, how can you see that? I was not, I'm not aware. And in that situation, what do I do? I can't make amends. I've left office. Okay, I'm not in office. And something that has happened has now come to me that look, see what see what happened. Mm. You may not have been aware of this. What do I do now in the office? I have a right to amend. So, perhaps so was... what I'm going to say is that if you are saying assembly, mm. why were they not aware? You go and ask assembly. Why were they not aware? But, yes, and there's no one who would do let them finish. Right. So they would, the public will get all gist. That's why we say, why do we always impute motive. motive in everything that's been done? What you should have asked? Take for example, what assembly did that and were they right? Were they right? If they were not right, and are trying to correct themselves now. Why do you read meaning to read? Why didn't you read meaning when they did what they did? That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. So for, for, political say for, for political, for political, for political, could have saved him? Political for his own election. Could you have saved him? Political what? For for the politics of it. In fact, it's even affecting us by taking that decision. APC is now saying that they were right. So why would I want to hurt myself politically? 
and this is not accusing us that they were right. Mm. So you cannot say that what you should be able to praise the, the, the state assembly, but for telling the booth like home. So say, look, now we have further facts. Okay, take for example, Supreme Court has given George Mercy right time. Right? The same Supreme Court come on to say, look, mm. with the circumstances now, that position cannot continue to stand. Now why would you not say, why are you not changing that now? I think these are two different things. No, they are not really. two different things. Because the, the, the Supreme Court did like not... Uh, uh, no. They liken it to the case of uh, Eneshonikon, who in the eyes of the law, uh, originally is not the head of state, but then the point there is that at a point in time, he presided over the affairs of the country. Yes. So the period of time that Celeste Du may, may have presided over the affairs of this state, yes. of course he did a lot of things for I, the state. I don't know who which court gave that judgment about... Um, uh, 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 what is the name? Shonaka. Shonaka was only appointed. Was not elected. Mm -hmm. But he was rec recognized as I'm one of the military past. government. Okay. First of all, military government is an adoration. Maybe the closest to what we have there is the case. Perhaps to avoid uh, digressing, yes. Your Excellency, yes. uh, to also you know build on what Kyle has said. Uh, something is being reversed, yes. and then you have put in some uh, ultimatum on it again. Yes. It, it looks to the you know common man that there is a bit of uh, if not rich, rich who, is the com who is the common man? Uh, who who, who, who has been the common man? Well, we, we are saying that, yes. for instance, if you, put, if you put an ultimatum to yes. something yes. because you're just reversing it, it looks a bit punitive, or as if you're saying, um, you know, he did something wrong. Okay, has the man said it is punitive? Has he challenged it? Mm. If it is punitive, the man who is affected will challenge it. Mm. You know, you see, the problem we have, you are the one imputing. There are some people you return this money when you ought not to collect the money in the first place. Mm -hmm. And they are giving you seven days. What is wrong? You say, look, I can't pay seven days. Mm -hmm. I can pay in one more time. Although I can't pay, you are wrong. You challenge it. You see, we must allow the law to grow. Okay. We must allow the law. You see, most of the things that happen, we don't give room for people to challenge actions of government. Mm -hmm. We are not sitting down in pity that this, the common man said, and this time I ask people, who are the common men? Who are, who, when did you meet these common people? Your, your Excellency. You're not saying, you're not saying what you have in mind. No, so I, I'm saying, saying well, if, 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 your Excellency, sir, sir, sorry, if you sir. put, your, your Excellency, this was the resolution of the house. <laughs> and I'm wondering, at what point did it become something that you had to sign? Because it was a resolution of the house. And then, and then, is uh, it, uh, is then, is then the issue of the enforcement of that resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where does that leave Sir Celestin now? First of all, when he said, is there any law that says that if a resolution is passed to the vote to the chief executive, yeah. it must take him one year, two months. No, no, what I mean is, is no, there a law? No, no, first of all, a resolution. Because we're wondering what to sign. I'm correct. So you know how government operates. Yes. Yeah. A resolution directing the chief executive and the governor. To implement this resolution. Okay. Just like they did last time, by recognizing him, I implemented immediately. Okay. Now they did the same thing, I have not implemented immediately, and now there's a motive. So I wonder whether it's so, the instrument of implementation that you signed. I have signed the instrument and it has been gazetted. Where does that leave Sir Celeste? Well, he has to pay or he can enter the court. It's been seven days, has he paid? Mm -hmm. That is not for me to know. I will find out for the Attorney General. What if he doesn't pay? What happens? The Attorney General would advise. And I won't do the work of another person. Mm. The Attorney General would advise. Now that he refused to pay, what is the next action to take? But as of today, you're not aware that he has paid. Because okay, so it was exactly seven days mm. that you actually signed that instrument. I can tell you something. I like people to do their work. If it's exactly seven days, so why not allow the seven days to pass and ask, I think by the end of the work of give that he has paid. So this answer I will be, <laughs> if I say I have not paid, and then I go back to the office. Because right. then, you no, said no, no, that no, no, Listen, the... so that you get it clear. Right. If, because the day has not ended. Okay, so there's still some room for oh, you to oh, pay. I mean, you, why not allow the, the day to expire? 
and then when the seven days are fully expired, and he has not paid, and then I call the attorney general, and I said, attorney general, listen, what has happened? Mm. Now that he has not paid, what actions are available for government to take? Is it only the advice of the attorney general? Or could let us do the best step that will take? All right, Mr. Governor, one other issue that uh, has raised a lot of eyebrows is the recent appointments in the states. It is said now that you have about 50,000 advisors. No, it's on the special assistance. Special assistance. Yes. And then there are also about three, over 300 or about 319 yes. uh, licensed officers within the wards in the, in the state. Yes. And you have just about eight months to leave office. Yes. One is saying, isn't that a burden on the, on the state government at this the, time? So, sorry, Your Excellency, if you permit me. We'll, like, like, keep that question in, in, in view. Okay. Because that's a related question to the issue of political vindictiveness. Okay. If you defend that of Sir Celestine as not political vendetta, how do you justify the revocation of the uh, parcel of land given to Africa Independent Army? <laughs> Thank you very much. Unfortunately, again, everything that happens now is oh, because you are supporting Atiku. In fact, if you cannot sleep well, it's because you are supporting Atiku. African Independent does not have any parcel of land. If you can prove with a document that this land was given to him by the government of River State, who will pay anything, anything he claims, people must get the truth. In fact, it's also the River State government invested in after the president. You know that. So that we will be vindictive on the investment we made. The United States government invested in African independence. And they were also vindictive on our investment. I think it was like that. They claimed that 2003, that the former government of the future, they gave them 43.8 hectares of land to build the regional office of the African Independent Television. 2003, for those who are good in mathematics, 2003 to today is how many years? 19 years. 19 years to build the regional office for the 3.8 hectares of land in the city of Port Harcourt. He did not apply to RCFO till Dr. Peter of the left. He did not apply for 2007 when Rosemary uh, Amechi came on board. Eight years he did not apply. When I came on board in May 29, 2015, he applied to me to issue some of our occupancy. On September 28, 2015, I minutered to the, to the Minister of Lands. Minister of Lands wrote back to me that look, there's no document that you own any property. And that's okay, I reply. And they did, they were sending correspondence. Suddenly, one of these days, sorry, that last uh, month, I think so, I, I saw a call. I answered. It was his son, the Mongino. I suppose he said he wanted to see me. I suppose the problem. He said they have a problem over the land, where they are. I suppose the one, what are they saying? He said, somebody invited him to tender the letter of allocation. I said, you have the letter of allocation. He said, no. I said, so what do I do? If you have if you have letter of allocation, I will be able to say, okay, yes, even though you have not developed that land, we can find a way for government to say I can rescue you. But in this case, there's no letter of allocation. All right. So how do you now verify the claim? You see what I say, everything is politics, politics, politics. And given the history that started. Now they said they now went and paid 86 million. What do 86 million show? Do you pay 86 million as if you have uh, allocation paper? But the Attorney General wrote to us, advising us, say listen, AIT does not have anything. Anything. 
Because what gives him that equity is the allocation of land or the right to say, yes, I may have uh, uh, violated the rules, but not developing the place for this number of uh, years. Not even applying for the CFO for this number of years. However, there's somewhere where he built a cubicle. A cubicle. Mm. The government can see that to him. See that to him where he's already, where he has built. The government takes the rest of the portion of money. So what is vindictiveness? You know, people will not come out and tell you the same. How can, how can a, a whole management, a corporation, can tell you the allocation they, 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 they have is missing? Go to land, it's not there. And now you're blaming me. But they are saying now it's political vindictiveness simply because it's somebody like you. Anybody that, you know, if you've done something wrong, if you take action, it's because you're supporting the article. You know what this matter has started before this article has started? Assembly has been having pro public democratic. I didn't even know until the son called me. So there's nothing political about it? Nobody political. I've told you, show me allocation paper. Right. If, if he showed me allocation paper That's now. That's a question. If, yes, okay, okay, okay. if he showed me allocation paper now. River State government will pay him any damage you will claim. So, let me choose this question. Right. So, uh, back to the question I was asking earlier. Uh, a lot of persons have uh, uh, raised eyebrows regarding some of the appointments you have made recently. Uh, advisors, uh, you have uh, about 50,000 advisors now, and uh, you have just about less than eight months to leave office. How much of a burden that is to the state government, uh, especially when they have to be paid with taxpayers' money, uh, is raising a lot of eyebrows. Okay. How is it a burden? Okay, take for example, who determines whether it's a burden on government? The people appointed, I don't, I don't know, reverse people, are they not going to be paid? Are they civil servants? But you're adding more money, or you're even employing those who don't have employment. It's not the duty of government to reduce poverty. It's not the duty of government to empower its people. If I have money, as I sit, as I tell you now, this early money we make, we're going to increase it to 100,000. <laughs> it is not, you see, if we don't have the funds to pay, that is the problem. So this is like a project. In fact, it is part of what, yeah, it's not, not political. It is part of what we promised our people. If the, the next government coming cannot go with it, it's an appointment. The government can look. I can deal with this. Right? The government is not tied to continue with it. But for me, information is key. Remember, this 319. Um, uh, Lewis on What life? Was it the first time I appointed him? It was not last year. The 14th local government last year. Is it the first time? People just forget easily. What we have done is to listen. We don't get enough information we are supposed to get. What are the people saying at the polling youth level? What are they saying? Are they happy with our government? You go and find out. So we can make adjustments before we leave. So this is a political master stroke for you, just to get oh, to the grassroots. It is you. It is you to tag what it is. No, no. You <laughs> say you want to get to the grassroots. I, I, I have not. I have not tagged that. But you are entitled to say, based on what you had me say, this is what it is. Are you going to be paying them, and how much would you be paying them? That is not your business to know how much. <laughs> no, I think it's public. I, I don't need to. Make, it's and, not but they are political no. appointees, sir. Are they? By the time they are being paid, yes. you ask. Yes. You, you can get that. Are they political appointees? They are political appointees. So, they are not civil servants. Okay. They are political appointees. We are also going to have, uh, employ civil servants before we leave. Mm. Just to be clear, but are you increasing it to 100,000 as you said? Or you are considering we, we met this morning. Right. We are going to reach 100,000. So now they are, they are all the best people. Yeah. But when, when you talk are about... You, why are you worrying about what's a, you know, No, no, just to be clear, because it sounded like you were saying you are planning to, but now no, you no, say no, you will. I, I said, I said, well, 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 right. we'll increase it 100,000. 100, yes, we'll do that. Our people are so happy. If I tell you the kind of text message I'm getting everywhere, people say, look, I, I want to be part of this. I want you to please. I have no, look, the, the unemployment rate is too much. 
Why do you need to go to Turkey by creating jobs, by employing civil service? You should also know that it's not enough. Mm. So this is the infrastructure of the stomach that you spoke about. You have always used the word stomach. I don't have a stomach. <laughs> but again, if you say stomach, if you are, if you are working, you fit in your stomach. If you are working, but if you don't have work, will you fit your stomach? That's not you will fit your stomach. Is it, is you have a Christ. Your Excellency, in this period, yeah. would there be a mechanism, for instance, to gauge if there is value in what you have done in terms of what they would bring to the table? Do you know what information is going to be high important?